Shalom Aleichem. In this week's Haftorah, from taken from Micha 6 8, it says, And what does the Shem require of you? But that you walk modestly with your God. The sages say that this derivative to walk modestly refers to tending to the dead and escorting a bride to the wedding canopy. Now you're probably thinking to yourself that this is very puzzling as these are some of the most public mitzvahs a person can do. Well, Shock has, has asked a question on this, this puzzling issue. He says, how then does one fulfill through the, them the admonition to walk modestly? The answer he gives is that a person's primary goal in life must be to become a doer of kindness on the inside. But you must in express this inner kindness in deeds as well. He says, dancing for a bride is a tremendous mitzvah. But only if one is truly happy to be, to be bringing joy to the bride and groom. As well as with accompanying the, the de deceased. One must be filled with sorrow to the death of his heart. It is this sensitiv sensitivity of the heart that is demanded of a person. He says there's no accident then that the prophet demands modesty specifically in regard to the most public mitzvahs. But it's precisely when a person's external actions are the most accentuated that he must be certain that he is the correct feeling in his heart as well. Rashak finishes his, his answer saying that there's a limit to how much a person can give on the outside. But the inside, there is no limit. He can always develop his ability to emphasize more and more. And that's for these reasons that Hashem demands of us. I mean, walk modestly. That is, we must develop in ourselves sensitivity of the heart. But that is the essence of the mitzvah. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's kind of hard to do. So, for me, when I go to a wedding, I bring shtick, I bring stuff to make the bride and groom happy. I dress in costumes, I do everything I can to bring them joy. But I know deep down inside me, I'm saying to myself, I wish that was me. I wish I was the one I'm getting married right now. And that little bit of selfishness on my part takes away from my inner ability, my inner kindness to do 100% of, my, of myself to be enjoyed to the bride and groom. When someone dies, we always think about our own ancestors that passed away. And how we fell at that time and try and use that as an example to comfort the mourner. But what Shem is saying here, what Shock is saying, don't worry about yourself. When you go to a, a, a wedding, when you go to a funeral, Forget yourself. It doesn't matter. Be the 110% for the family, for the bride and groom, for the deceased ones and the mourners. 100% of your heart, fill it with emotion, either joy 
Sadness. By doing this, we too can walk modesty with our God. So I want to give you all a bracha, a blessing. That whenever you go from now on to a wedding or a, a funeral, that your entire heart, your entire being will be just for that one event. Whether it's dancing in costume for a, a bride and groom or where it's mourning and crying for someone who died. And providing comfort for those deeply affected by this. Have an amazing, amazing Shabbos. A beautiful rest of the, rest of the week. Let's keep our hearts focused on those victims of the terrorist attacks that happened in Israel this past week. As well as on those nine people who died in the Charleston church last week. Have a beautiful, beautiful Shabbos.